money! Jerry, you better yell! Show me the money! These actors have yet to be rewarded for their excellence in cinematic achievements. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 actors who haven't won an Oscar. For this list, we've limited it to male actors who haven't won Academy Awards for acting and have based our entries on a mix of the number of nominations received and those who are generally perceived to have been snubbed too often. And I want you to acknowledge it. Honorary or special Oscars don't count as they're not competitive. Number 10, Robert Downey Jr. RDJ appeared in several comedies and dramas before making a splash as Charlie Chaplin. America does not include, was never meant to include, this kind of scum. He was so good, the Academy nominated him, but his career and personal life soon took a tumble. I know that it's confusing. It is one thing to question the official story and another thing entirely to make wild accusations. Despite some award-winning TV time, it wasn't until the mid-2000s that he found his footing again. Now, Iron Man's flying high and landed an Oscar nod for his outrageous turn in Tropic Thunder. Everybody knows you never go full retard. Still no wins, though. You don't buy that? That's Sean Penn, 2001, I am saying. Remember? Went full retard. Went home empty handed. Number 9, Albert Finney. The English actor found stage success before making a name for himself on the big screen. Don't be careful. As the Mexicans say. Though he's won Golden Globes, BAFTAs, and an Emmy, Oscar glory has escaped him five times so far. I'm dying without you. After four Best Actor Oscar nominations during the 20th century, Finney demonstrated he still got it in the new millennium with a Best Supporting Actor Oscar nod as Julia Roberts' lawyer in Aaron Brockovich. $28 billion? I didn't know it was that much. Wow! Number eight, Edward Norton. Though it takes some actors decades before they're recognized by the Academy, Norton got his first supporting actor Oscar nod right off the bat with Primal Fear. Well, looky here, who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? It's not the only time Norton showcased such diversity within a role. See his Best Actor nominated American History X performance for proof of that. Come here, you shoot at my family? I'm gonna teach you a real lesson now, mother Put Stop. your mouth on the curb. Though Norton's shown he can more than hold his own against other acting greats, he hasn't had a nod since. You know what I got. You just can't deal with the fact that I beat you. Oh, yeah? What have you got? Huh? What have you got? You know what I've got. Number seven, Will Smith. He's a Grammy-winning rapper, television star, and box office king, but still the Fresh Prince can't catch Oscar gold. Man, he took that hard. He may be funny as hell, but he can also be oh so serious, which has made the Academy sit up and take notice twice. Was it as easy as it looked? No, sir. No, no, sir, it wasn't. They didn't give him the trophy either time, but that hasn't stopped Will from pursuing genres as varied as sci-fi, rom-com, and biopics. It is over! It is over! It is over! Number 6, Johnny Depp. To shake his teen idol status, Depp took on movie roles that were unlike his TV character as much as possible. And boy, did he ever. Edward, don't you listen to her! From his eccentric but memorable performances with frequent collaborator Tim Burton, to romances, thrillers, and more, Depp's done it all. But his first Oscar nod only came along in the new century for what's now considered his trademark role, Jack Sparrow. Captain of Jack Sparrow, if you please. He's since earned two more nominations, but no victories yet. Sir, I bow to a skill far greater than my own. Number five, Brad Pitt. Before his brood with Angelina Jolie had paparazzi in a frenzy, Pitt had hearts a-fluttering and critics talking for his good looks and acting chops. Speaking of frenzy, he earned his first Oscar nomination for a role light years away from the pretty boy Hollywood had come to expect. She knows everything I'm ever going to do before I know it myself. How's that? Since then, he's earned two more nods and shown himself at ease in comedies, epics, action flicks, and more close, but still no cigar. You may not look like a winning team, but you are one. Number four, Richard Burton. Burton may have played Elizabeth Taylor's leading man on and off screen, but he also had incomparable acting skills, and he got seven Oscar nominations to prove it. I'm talking about passion, Hester. 
Do you know what that word meant originally? Suffering. The way you get your own spirit through your own suffering. Unfortunately, he never bagged any wins before his 1984 death. But Burton won plenty of other awards during his lifetime and was at one time Hollywood's top earning actor. Poof! Just like that now, how do you like it? <gasps> no! Number three, Leonardo DiCaprio. I'm the king of the world! Jack Dawson may have been the king of the world, but DiCaprio has yet to add the title of Oscar winner to his 20 plus year career. There have been a lot of lies set around this dinner table here tonight, but that you can believe. It's not like he hasn't been nominated. He was still a teen when he nabbed his first and earned two more in the mid-2000s. <clears throat> I need to sleep. DiCaprio's since shown he can deftly play in dramas, tragedies, comedies, and more. But the trophy still eludes him. That diamond is my ticket out of this godforsaken continent. That doesn't answer the question. Number two, Gary Oldman. Acting since the 70s, Oldman's often been described as one of the best actors today, thanks to his versatility, theatrical acting style, and extreme dedication to the craft. While pop culture fans love him for his villain roles, he's also impressed us with his real-life portrayals. He finally received his first Oscar nod for 2011's Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, but even then, he lost. Yeah, I brought you some cigarettes, by the way. Use my lighter. Number one, Peter O'Toole. With eight Oscar acting nods and no wins, it's not surprising O'Toole holds the record. The Irish actor's extensive and deeply respected repertoire that ranges from epics to historical dramas and musicals to black comedies has earned him many accolades. What we need is something like a rope. And even though Lawrence of Arabia is considered one of cinema's finest flicks, we've no ambitions in Arabia. O'Toole only has an honorary Oscar from 2003 to show for his almost 60 year career. We want two large glasses of lemonade. This is a path for British officers. That's all right, we are not particular. Lawrence! Do you agree with our list? Which actor do you think deserves an Oscar? Be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com for more entertaining top tens. Okay, bye-bye.